What's up, and welcome back to the Hammer Editor tutorial. I am once again your host, John John Z RB6 Elite Hodgson, and uh, today, or uh, I guess this time, uh, this is tutorial number eight, and I'm going to be mentioning as much as I can about optimization without uh, making my head spin or going too deep. It's 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 a uh, very important subject. And unfortunately, it's difficult to show. Uh, but I'm gonna try my best, and because uh, it's it's kind of worth it. Um, basically, basically, this is you know people get pissed off at me for saying some things like this. Basically, optimization um, taken as a whole is a term used to make your map work more efficiently. Um, your map is going to be played by you know people with you know crappy computers or it won't be able to be run correctly on servers and stuff like that optimization is essentially the practice of of uh, making your map uh, streamlined uh, just making it more efficient for the computer to uh, to recognize where all of the uh, the players and uh, the brushes and uh, anything else that's in your map being able to make it run smoothly for as many people as possible. That is optimization in a nutshell. Uh, we've already learned some optimization techniques, though you may not have noticed it. For example, this no draw texture, which we were talking about, um, I can't, yeah, last, um, or last tutorial or a couple tutorials ago, um, the no draw texture basically tells the computer, okay, don't uh, render that texture. Um, that way we can uh, devote the resources that the computer is using to render that texture. Uh, we can devote that to something else. The, uh, um, there are other techniques that you can use to make your, uh, your, um, your machine or your Git map run faster. And the most um, important, in my opinion, of these is, is the handling of what's called viz leaves. Um, if you know anything about uh, map creation in a different um, in a different uh, you know map editor like you know Unreal SDK or you know uh, 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 some other, if you're familiar with map editing, you'll know what viz leaves are. For those of you who don't, I'd like to show you a little visual representation of them. But if you've uh, compiled your map recently, go up into the map button here or the map uh, menu here and then click load portal file and then you'll get this uh, box if you've mapped it recently it should have the name of your map on the end click yes and then your map will now have this mess of blue lines now what the blue lines are actually outlining the aforementioned viz leaves that I was talking about viz leaves are, are um, essentially sections of your map that dictate to the computer, uh, okay, um, what is visible? What is visible that the computer needs to render during a uh, during a um, during while your game is running? Your computer's always trying to figure out uh, where a player is and what he can see in relation to his position. For example, if I'm standing in this this area right here, outlined by this big blue box, then I can see anything inside this box, and obviously I can also see anything that I that a, um, I can draw a straight line from one box to, say, this other box. It would be kind of silly if the computer just recognized my vision to be confined only to this box, and then the one right next to me it didn't uh, it didn't render at all. Nothing in there would be. Um, would be rendered if I had a, like a prop in there. Um, I'm just going to leave it blank for right now. But if I had a prop in there, um, it will. The way that it's set up right now is even though it's in a different viz leaf, even though it's in a different box, I can see it because I can draw a straight line from this box to this box. And more importantly, if I cannot draw a straight line from one place to another, for example, if I cannot draw a straight line without passing through some brushes from where I was to say over here into this box, then that means anything inside this box 
this prop and this prop, for example, will not be rendered. So I, my computer is essentially um, is essentially uh, you know cutting down on the number of things that it needs to show or it needs to show to the screen, you know, without actually um, without um, you know making things invisible where they don't need to be. That all is taken care of by your compiler, but sometimes you need to lay down the law, so to speak, in order to make the viz leaves make sense. For example, I've made some stairs over here. Well, let's go over here because that's okay. So I've made some stairs. Um, the stairs here are a collection of these. Um, slanted brushes right here. And what it's doing is any brush that it sees is going to try to uh, somehow efficiently draw a viz leaf for all of those brushes or something that conforms to all those brushes. Now having this viz leaf and then this viz leaf and then this viz leaf and then this viz leaf is just kind of silly because they all are you know, it's pretty obvious that I can see, if I can see one of them, I can see all of them. And it's up to the level designer to recognize that this is a really crappy way of drawing viz leaves. So how do you solve this problem? Well, one way to do it is to just not make any stairs, which is kind of a poor solution. But, I mean, it's, it's, it's alright if, if you can get by without making stairs. A better way to do things is to make all of these brushes not count towards the um, viz leaf construction. If I don't want, um, if I want to cut down on the compile time that it takes to render to uh, figure out how I should cut up the visual clusters here on the stairs, um, what I can do is make these stairs not count by tying them to an entity. Again, an entity something like this uh, this prop right here, you'll notice that the prop does not actually affect how these lines are drawn. In fact, they're drawn right through it. Whereas the solid stuff, the um, these brushes right here, uh, do affect how the viz leaves are drawn. There's a prop right there for our light. Does not affect how things are drawn. So essentially, what we're going to do is uh, make this into a prop type kind of uh, entity. And we do that by selecting all of them, and then right-clicking, and then tie to entity, just like if we were tying a, a trigger brush to something. And the default that should come up is Funk Detail. This is what we want. I hit Apply. Now these stairs are details, essentially. So they're not, and uh, if you selected all of them, then they're now going to be grouped together in one big detail. Now, if you... Let's unload our map, unload our portal file, turn off all the blue lines, save it, and then compile it again. Don't run the game, but just compile it. And this will take a little bit. Okay, not yet. Lights are a, a, a tricky, they take a little bit to compile. Looking. Let's see. I'm trying to decide if I should just cut this short. I'll let this tutorial run on to uh, two sections, I guess. It's important enough. Okay, so we're done compiling. Now we should have a new, um, a new, uh, let's see here, uh, portal file. So go to map, click load portal file. It'll have a new default portal file. Click yes, and now look what happens. All of those um, those boxes that were drawn uh, for that viz leaf are now gone, and we only have one.